When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the Download Files option appears, you can download the example files. Hello, hope you're doing great. Welcome to a tutorial to learn depalletizing. Reza is here. In the previous tutorial, this is what I did. So a sheet was coming on the palette and the palletizing task, and then the next set. So over here, what if now I want to depalletize? So I'm gonna click over here, extend this. Then let's deactivate the flows. This is gonna be the place that I'm gonna unload. So I'm gonna change the name of this to unloading. Small L. Yes, so transport in any product as palette. Let me just remove this. I would just keep these two because I want to transport in the palette, remove everything on it and then transport out. Let's say that I will check the ingredients, what is on the palette. First, I will use the detach statement and I want to detach many, the product variable name is product in, for us it's the palette detached variable name so whatever is detached if you remember the last products going in were the cylinders so sales i could put here some other variable name as well these are just local variables meaning that for example this variable name is used only inside this process which is the unloading process it's a local variable name and then what i can do is to transport out to next process, transport out the seals. And then also I will detach something else, which is from palette, detach the plate. I would put detach many here. I mean, I could put, but it's just one plate. So that's not, a, not an issue. And then again, I would just transport out the plate. And these are going to next process. And then at the very last, there is palette that goes to the conveyor, which is the component container. Now I need a next process to send out the cylinders and the plate. So this is something like a sync process. Transport in any product and then remove them. And this one I don't need. Now there's no connection between my unloading and sync. I would need to bring still the unloading here. So unloading sync using this transport link. Let's press play. Uh, what I would do is to reduce the amount of cylinders there because we are testing and I don't want to wait so long for so many cylinders to be palletized. So I can easily go now to transport pattern in where I'm bringing in the cylinders and change this pattern count to, for example, one in x and then three in y so that's what happens now look one two three go so send out the cylinders then send out the sheet and then send out the pallet to the conveyor let me bring this here the if you notice the sheet was being released and at the same time conveyor as well so i'm gonna put here a little bit of delay let me just go to bring in the delay, like a 10 seconds delay. I will decrease the simulation speed. So sheet released and then the palette. Here I could show quickly how to put in a transport controller. 
preset. Bring in a, let's say I could use a human worker. And then I'm going to bring in the resource as well. Tester Otto. Never forget. Safety first. Right. Then I'm going to put the controller interface to be attached to the child, which is the human. So right now human is So right now human is connected to this controller. You see that the shirt is same as the controller color. Then I'm going to select over here the implementer to be human and press play. And now human goes, it goes through the conveyor. Let me just set the correct location for the cup point. So I'm going to make it like 270. I'm now modifying this point over here and make this plus seven or 600. So somewhere there could be even a bit more, let's say 700 press play 3 cylinders coming human goes picks up unloading the pallet and also the sheet. Obviously I could take the sheet to another process, but that's basically having another sink for the sheet. I guess that with this level of details you already know how to customize the loading and unloading of pallets using the transfer pattern in and attach and detach statements well enough okay have fun simulating and also have a good one and bye for now